Kogan always was a very good business. It remains a good business. The reason why the short happened was because the government changed the way it charged GST on overseas purchases and Kogan was exposed to that. Um, at the same time, the management had been trying to sell down some of their shares and so the market was never going to like that either. And as a result, the share price went down and, and we made quite a bit of money shorting Kogan. But, um, you know, we were waiting for that business really to bottom out and it has. And the growth is, is really now, the underlying growth has just continued in the sales of that business. The, the mobile phone business is somewhat difficult to understand, but if you go through their previous numbers, you can see that there is um, seasonality in it to do with the way they offer their deals. And uh, the last half was um, finished on a, on a down period, if you like, uh, for revenue, and we should be entering a very strong up period for revenue. So we think there's some very good earnings upgrades to come for the market. The market's very wary of Kogan's, derated it quite a lot. That's been a wonderful opportunity for us to get back into the stock, uh, benefit from the earnings upgrades, the re-rating, and uh, who knows, um, maybe uh, you know, sell it again down the track. Well, um, within its business, obviously, it's about internet penetration of um, you know, retail spending, and that's an ongoing growth that's above the general level of retail sales in the country, so that's a good one. The, the second thing is just on the, on the mobile phones and the growth that it's getting in mobile phones. And again, there's a growth in its market share going on in mobile phones. Um, let alone any other verticals that are confined, it's continually looking and putting more verticals into the business. So, you know, it's got that growth that should allow it to move ahead of whatever the underlying retail sales growth of Australia is. Well, we've already seen a bounce off its low when it came out with the last half year earnings numbers because they were showing a stabilisation in the, in the revenue following that downturn because of the GST change. Um, what we think now will happen is we'll see with the next result a continuation of that growth and the market will get over the hissy fit that it had when it made the stock price fall the last time.